ini Safety set to 125? Yeah. when you're on the lake, this will be almost wide open here. And you're going to work on a bypass here. Now right now i got 100% water going into the boiler to make steam. If I make too much steam, I'm going to open that up. Look, notice how it's dropping down. Yep. And the pressure is dropping down. This thing is real sensitive here, so 100, 90, 100 is good if you want to work on saturated steam. Now this started leaking here. I saw that today. It didn't do that last year. I don't kind of DC uh, condenser. That's your pre-water heat. But right now I got the plug open in the back, so it's venting out there. It'll go down the keel and come back yeah, into see. the water tank. So this is how you run it in your driveway. guy who uh, ran us before, he liked to, he made this rod here to adjust it. He says what he does when he runs it all the way open, he'll turn it and then rest it there. You can turn it like this, and it, that way you don't have to reach down there. I was going to evidently change it, but it's... This is going to really take off. When you come into the dock there, you're going to have to shut the burners down there and, and just feather it a little bit to get closer to the dock. This thing is real fast and responsive too. So once it goes. this to like maybe two degrees past the opening of the slide valve where it just cracks open from top dead center there so when you bring it two degrees over with the uh, crank the piston like that you'll see the slide valve there and, and that's you can make your adjustment here and you can lengthen it and shorten it up so you just killed the burn by that mm -hmm. brass valve so yep. you're gonna have to light the uh, the thermocoupler again no it's still on. oh it's still on it's okay still on right now. oh yeah because yeah it's separate. okay yeah yeah this this yep. this is on pilot. You turn yep. over, it's off. So yep. they're on. Okay. On. All right. Now the wind, just the way it's designed. If you have a windy day, you know, twenty knots or something, it could go on there and boom, blow out your pilot valve. So the uh, now the you know. the hand pump, you basically use it to start the engine, huh? Mm -hmm. right. Well, yeah. If you have a pump failure, then you, you got a yeah. secondary. Yeah. So right now it's hovering around one twenty five. Maybe it's a one fifty in there. I could have sworn I got a 125, but it's possible it's 150. So what's this little tank in front there? Well, that's your uh, oil water separator. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So I'll, I'll lift the lid off that in a minute. Now, this is your water pump. The packing's probably, you're probably going to need new packing in there. All right, that's fine. Now, with the casting salt delicate, you can see right here there's some threads, like someone busted a little bit there. Um, this thing's going to rest on here. So when if you ever have to do maintenance and take the engine out, just careful this assembly. Yeah. 
when you bench it, put on you know a couple two by four blocks because the pump is lower than the frame. All there is is two Allens on the shaft. Uh, you just take these three bolts out and you know, just slide it forward. So the same will go back and forth. I never had any leaks out of here. Yeah, that was my next question. Never, yeah. never, ever. The only leak I ever had out here is this structure uh, support right in the middle there. And as soon as it starts swelling up there, and it could take a while, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. It's just the way it is. Yeah. I put fiberglass underneath there from here all the way to the uh, back of the stern there on the keel. And I really got it in there and stuff and painted it again. But um, it still likes to. It somehow. <laughs> don't know. Just don't know. I don't get seawater in here. So that's a good sign. So where's the bilge at? This whole center is the bilge. So okay. you have to get probably an electric pump. Oh, you don't have a pump. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's I fine. had a little container there because. When you have a steam engine, you can't put that in water because oil floats in water. Yeah. You're going to see a pool of oil. Wow. So I had to contain it, put a five gallon bucket at the end of the day. And that's sorry, but that's the nature of steam, you know. So I ain't going to help. That's just something you got to be self, you know. Man, the, the DNR ever catches you throwing yeah. oil on the leg. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they, yeah, they'd be unhappy about that. Exactly. There are steam tables on this online here. So right now at 250, I think for 100, 110 is like 300 or 350. Yeah, it sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Something like that. You have to look at the steam tables there. I ran steam locomotives. I, I know kind of roughly. I, mean, I want between 250 and 300. That's what I want to do. So um, we're still holding here because this is uh, somehow we got pressure in the line there on your feet water here. So that's good. This the, gauge yeah, is the, pretty. Yeah, the, the checks are holding that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Which is not bad. And so that's your that line going down there. That's for your condenser, huh? So where is it? It'll go down. Yes, because uh, two things, and this is preheating your uh, cold water, mm -hmm. and that way you know, right in the boiler, the uh, the exhaust goes down through the keel and goes all the way out to the back, and we have the plug is not in, so you're venting right now. Yeah. Okay. Then it'll come back up to the. Can I reach that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it'll go in there and the oil floats on the water and then the water will go down in the front tank. So Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, so I'll so you, I'll show you the front tank. So the oil bit. and the water go wait. No, the oil's gonna stay separate. Oil floats. Okay. So your yeah. water settles. Alright. Okay. So it'll go on the bottom there. What's what's the word for that box oil separator is the word for it? Displacement? No. The uh, something box. The uh, okay. So the tank is up here for the fresh water. Underneath. Yeah. All right. Which now, is probably do you use three four. Lake water? No. 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 Don't ever use lake water. Never. From your house. Always. Even tap water with uh, tap water is fine. Really? Yeah. The yeah. Uh, even with the chlor with the chlorine in it. Yeah. The uh, never use lake water though. Even no. if you filtered it or. Yeah. If you filter it, that's fine. How are you gonna filter it? Yeah, you'd have to have a pump. With you're, it. you're a self-contained system here. You yeah. Don't, you don't. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, run yeah, all yeah, day right. yeah. with that tank, and yeah. then uh, like on a Sunday, I, I but I don't run it all day. I, I would fill the tank a little bit because I'm anal about that. I don't want to run out of water, so, uh, you know, out in the water. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just, you know, it's just like a steam locomotive. You yeah. know, like yep. I, and when we did our trips, every every four trips, or we filled up the tank. Because if you ever derail, you need water out there. So, so how uh, how efficient is the condenser? Is it? Oh God, it's very condensed. It, it, oh yeah, it's pretty. Well, good. because when the water is about sixty degrees, it's condensing yeah. that steam and it goes right back in there. I'm not consuming water out of that yeah, thing. I mean, as long as you got any leaks, you should be able to recycle one hundred percent of that's it. That's what you're doing. Yeah. You, I mean, except when you're firing the engine over and you got everything all open up here. So. It, 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 I, I, I make this 10 minutes, you know, to get it up to steam or 15. I just like sitting here and have a cup of coffee and watch it. You know, just, I, I'm not, I don't bring it up fast. So Now, where's the boiler drain for when you're, now, do you ever blow it down or do you wait till it cools down and then you, drain you blow, it? On the side here, you, you can use this valve right here that when you open it up to see if you have any wet things, you blow it down there. Now, it did have a steam trap on there. The steam trap was this big. And it was basically from that valve out to the side. Water was in there and it cracked. Uh, I think it was last year. I wet the boiler here and overnight 
uh, it dipped down right at uh, 32. And the boiler was fine. I, I hydro the boiler all the way up to 175, and I had no leaks, thank God. It was because the trap was exposed out there and it cracked. Oh boy. And I was pissed. I was really, really pissed. Right now, I mean, there's nothing draining in there. You can see how it's wet. I put this, this is a shield in there to keep the pilot from, you know, blowing out. So that's the way the guy built it. I just left it as is. So, you know. Now, there's no actual water level on this boiler, is there? No. Okay. There is not. Right. The only way you know if you're too high is when this is open, you're starting out, you're going to find out. You're gonna have water yeah. Yeah. going out on, on all the valve, the three valves for the, the drain. You don't know. That's the problem when you're pumping in here. So you have to watch the side. So when you're firing up, if you're seeing saturated steam, that's fine. But could you be low? Yes. So I would hit this, a few more pumps on here. As soon as my uh, gauge starts getting about year 80 or 100, and then I'll just let it go. It's, it's all by feel. There is no water level with the cyclist. I'm just saying, no, I'm leaving. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah. okay. I'll see you like either today or tomorrow. Are you working or no? No, I'm going to Wisconsin. Oh, you're going to Wisconsin? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, okay. All right, be safe. It's a. Okay, so still from cold, you can fill up here, pump it up with the hand pump, fire it up. Run it when you're dry. Yeah, run it when you're dry. And you pump it up to about 80, you said. It must be higher with a couple blocks here because of the pilot valve that goes underneath there. So you don't, you know, don't bend that. Uh, two people uh, can lift this out, no problem. It's not that heavy. You just want two there, you know, bring it up here, get it on the edge a little bit, and then you can uh, bench it. What are the lines going up to the front? Uh, if you're walk around the other one, I never got work is for it'll actually suck out water where the hose is longer here. Okay. So when you open up here, it just shoots it out. And and I never got it to work. So the hose was originally longer. You go in there and suck up. Yeah, safe. Yeah, so it's safe now like you know. Yeah. And yeah, I can see that. The yeah. steam trap was originally uh, right here. So it came down here. This is where it was. So it was well, well, water right out of there. <laughs> so, um, because it's a closed system, right? You, you want, you know, with the the gases, it's gases. That's what the steam trap is for. You, you want to put that back in. I only ran it for uh, one time after I did uh, steam trials in it last April, last year. Last year I did, and it's that. So, I haven't done anything. The boiler just got a huge barbecue paint every year on it. It's just, just yeah. this is, I don't know, nature of the beast, I guess. The, uh, and you're just running a regular cylinder lubricant. 600. Right? Six, 600. 600 okay. uh, super steam cylinder oil. All right. Now you can run straightway 30 here on here, your, yeah. your drip boilers. So these are already set. Uh, these, these two work. This third one over here is capped off. I don't know where it went at one time. And the other owner who owned it too didn't know. So um, I couldn't figure it out. But with this uh, box, the brass box here, there's I think two of them for sure go down on the uh, cross head there. And uh, well, whatever lubrication points you use, a straightway 30, you'll see the holes there for the uh, fulcrum arms and all that for the uh, water pump. And, I religiously oil, so it's just can't can't replace this engine. I don't know if the guy's still alive or not. I don't know if there's any parts made for it. Couldn't tell you. So the yeah. all right, perfect. Well, it uh, it that sums it up. I uh, it, it needs. I started painting it not this last winter, but the winter before. And now it's just, the uh, how's the draft when it's in the water? How 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 much is sticking up? Now, when I'm sitting here, it's it's the front that rises just a little bit. So if you have a person there, a person here, you level out. So do you need to put more weight in the front? Um, I would say there's a water line right now. 
see the dirty lava. Oh, above. way, way down there. All the way, all the way down here? Yeah. Wow, that took that high photo of water. Wow. That's surprising. Yeah, that. Well, right where that hole is, where the steam uh, yeah. outlet there, yeah, it, that, it, yeah, it doesn't, right. it doesn't yeah. go over that. Yeah. So you can sit here as you're steaming up, you can watch it. Side. Wow, yeah. wow. So it, it doesn't. Wow. Mm. Huh. It floats real good. Yeah, that's... Uh,